if somebody's already watching this later and getting all this initial stuff, I am sorry this is not the relaxing part. Just trying to make sure I'm actually streaming. Oop. Okay, you'll have to mute that, Doug. Yep, there I am. Sweet. Cool. Well. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Let me get in so I can see chat. Very good. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I saw you comment, Doug. <laughs> so, um, for anybody watching this later that's get getting the very beginning of this, um, we're we were just kind of doing some sound checking earlier. I moved some mics around. I'm just trying to tweak my setup a little bit so it's a little bit more enjoyable for everybody. Um, so, uh, you might hear some sound adjustments as we go today, but I just thought I'd take my time, not stress out about, um, you know, I, I was planning on going on at noon and it's like 25 after, but I figured it was worth it to get the sound right. So, um, I've been rushing through things a little too long and, uh, now I'm ready to play some music for you. So, uh, oh, looks like we already got people here. Hi, Mike. Bar hoppers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Virtual bar hoppers. Hi, Mindy. Good to see you. Yay, you made it today, live at that. But these are these are available to watch anytime, so you don't ever have to feel like you have to stick around. Um, you can you can see it later if you want. Yeah, Mike, um, Doug was helping me adjust the sound today already. So um, I have this new little box that I'm using that the headset's plugged into, and I switched the output, and that made a huge difference. I don't understand all the geeky technology behind it, but we are working on it to make it better every time I stream. So glad you can hear me better today. So I, I'm just going to do some improv today. Uh, Facebook's where I, I kind of do some chill improv stuff, and then the practice is going to be on Twitch after this. So um, I think I might just do two mallets instead of four to start out with because that's hard. Chords are hard. All right. So I, I will chat along the way today. I won't make this an entirely silent stream. But my goal really is that this could be something that you put on in the background and just do whatever you need to do. Chat as much or as little as you want, and we'll just have fun today. So thanks for listening in.
Um, sorry, uh, sound thing for me and Doug here. Uh, Doug, I, I want you to listen in the room for a second. Sure. Uh, you may need to take a, an ear out. I feel like there's a couple notes up here that are getting a vibration in the room. Let me see if I can find it. Yesterday it was this one. Yeah. And I thought I was hearing it on the C, too. Now I don't hear it. Go figure. Yeah, I know. It just drives me nuts in the room. I, I was just wondering if we could pinpoint where it was coming from. If I need to put tape on something. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Now I can't hear it. That's so annoying. As soon as I stop and get help, I can't find it. Uh, exactly. That's totally what it is. Yeah, it was driving me nuts when I was playing. I was like, darn that note. There it is. Do you hear that? It's a tinny sound. It's a funny squeaking, it's a funny squeaking sound. Do you hear it? I feel like it's coming off of something metal. I'll have to mess with that later. <laughs> that's that's one of those things that's just going to bother me. Zebra, uh, you know, it could be. Sandy, it could be anything in this room. Uh, it really could be. There's so much metal in here. Um, and it's really funny because you just never know in whatever room you're in what frequencies this marimba is going to set off in the room. Um, when we were recording, uh, was it Lean In, Doug? Yeah. Um, when we were recording Lean In, uh, we were in Nate's studio, and I was in this tiny room. It was not with this marimba. It was with my first one. And uh, we were just going through a sound check, and he was like, hang on a second. And he's like, just hit that one note. So I just kept hitting it. And he was going around his main room just, like, touching all these various points, trying to figure out where it was buzzing from. He finally found it in the middle of the window. And so he had to put this uh, – he put a towel up and then duct taped it all across it. It was so funny. So – Literally, yeah. Any band, any group, yeah. I don't know if you can hear Doug, but he's saying he's never done that before with anybody. So um, it's just the unique nature of this particular instrument and how much it uh, it resonates. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, more music. Let's see. I want to pick some different mallets now. Uh, what do I want to use? These I love these heavy mallets, but I should give myself a little bit of a break. Hmm. Let's see how these sound. I haven't used these in a while. Um, let's see, those are 15s. Those are kind of hard. Maybe I don't want the 15s. Let's try 5s and 10s. These have more of like a, a, a nice warm roll, but they're softer too. Maybe I'll just try messing around with some chords on this.
Amy. Yeah, that's okay if you can't stay. That's totally cool. Glad to see you on. I don't know if you're still here or not, but thanks for jumping in. Feel free to just leave it play in the background if you want to. This is really just supposed to be something fun and easygoing, so no big deal. Welcome, Jasmine. Good to see you on today. How are you doing today? You getting some fun playtime, I hope? It's always a balance between trying to get some work done and, and getting some creative outlet, right? So this is my time to try and turn off the um, the logical side of my brain and play a little bit. We'll see what else happens. It's, it's kind of funny how my arms tend to do different things if I'm holding two mallets versus four and sometimes I think I've got a mood going and then I hit a note and I'm like that's not what I thought I was gonna do but we'll make it work. So these it, it's, it's really interesting and bizarre to me how this stuff kinda comes together. Thank you. 
Well, that was kind of different. Yay. Yeah, Jasmine, we can't wait to get down there again. Uh, Florida's going to be so much fun. Um, man, there's so many places right now I want to get back to. We are trying to. Um, so when I'm not behind this keyboard, I'm behind the other keyboard trying to work with different venues and find places for the band to play. Um, we've got some leads all over the place. It's just a matter of finding out who's ready to commit and make the investment, and then we can plan some tours around it. So we're trying really hard. Um, we'll see what comes together. Hi, Jess. How are you today? Good to see you. Who else am I missing here? I think I said hi to Sandy, but if I didn't, hi, Sandy. Um, I saw something about you shoveling snow, I think, uh, way up there in the chat somewhere. I can't find it now. It's gone. Um, oh, no, that was Sally, not Sandy. Wrong S. That was Sally. That was uh, five inches of snow. Ooh, that's a lot. We got a dusting, but I didn't have to do anything to get out this morning, so no big deal. Here we usually just get powdered sugar or slush. That's usually about how it is. So, anywho, um, if anybody has questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep playing. This is really good for me. It, it really stretches my brain a lot to get into this mindset of just sound, uh, finding out how things sound on this keyboard and what I can do with it. I'm going to try something different. These are a little bit harder, and I think I'm just going to try three of them just because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I do different things with different mallets, and sometimes I don't know what's going to happen. So we'll just see what pops out. Hmm. Although it does help if I try and pick a key signature before I start.
was fun. What do we got going on here? Had a couple of, um, we'll just call them accidentals in there. <laughs> a little jazz. I don't know, that might be, uh, I, I might be blaspheming jazz with that one. Uh, hi, David. Not sure if you're still on here, but good to see you. It's so scary doing this stuff. You guys have no idea how weird this is for me sometimes because I'm very methodical and laid out and I like to read sheet music and uh, like I'm, I'm truly just hitting notes and it's, it's, it's just a different side of my brain. So I'm trying to flex those muscles a little bit. So thank you for uh, encouraging me and it, it does me good to know that you guys like to see this stuff. So thank you. Um, I'm going to do some practice on Twitch here in a few minutes. I'll take a short break. I have to readjust some microphones and everything like that. So, well, not microphones, but um, got to get my music stand up here, put up my laptop so I can see people's comments. Um, and then I, I don't know what I'm going to work on today for practice. We'll, f we'll figure something out. Um, I have a lot to go over still. So it's, it's not for lack of content, that's for certain. But I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, my schedule's up weekly. If you guys really like this, the website's at the top of the screen. I think it's like up here somewhere. Um, so you can go check that out. And there's a link in the title as well. All of our background, all of what we're up to is right on there. And we even have an email sign up. So if you don't want to rely on Facebook to tell you what's going on, feel free to sign up for the email. And I'm going to try and start sending those out every week, probably on Mondays, just to let people know what's going on and keep in touch better. So... Uh, we hope to see you soon out on the road when we can, but for right now, I'm going to try this and keep live streaming, so thanks a lot. Alrighty. Welcome to my world. I don't know that one. Yeah, I have so many songs I want to learn. It's going to be interesting. So I'm going to work on some practice on Twitch, and we'll get some of those going. Zoom meeting later today. No, that's totally cool, David. We are streaming so much. You know that. It's like, oh, my goodness. You could probably start a radio station and stream, you know, between the four of us, like uh, you and me and Doug and Ted. We could probably almost cover 24 hours <laughs> if we wanted to. So, um, yeah, there's definitely no pressure to stay on longer than what you want. Just hitting stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, cool. Well, um, I have to figure out a way to shut this down, and that probably means I have to unplug. So I apologize in advance if there's like a popping sound or something, um, but I'm tethered. That's the cool thing about the headset is I can talk to you guys now, but the bad thing is I have to go unhook so I can go uh, hit the stop button. So thank you very much, and I will see you guys on Twitch in about 10 minutes if you're watching this live and if you're not watching this live you can go check out all my other recorded stuff on youtube facebook twitch wherever you want to go have a great day